Today I want to talk with you about the three types of budgets used in church ministry. The first and most ineffective is a cost budget. A cost budget is the least compelling and usually signifies a dead or dying congregation. It looks at space and facility cost, denominational cost, personnel cost, and program cost, usually in that order. This type of budget is usually drawn up by leaders who have pulled back into a conservative, holding, protecting, and preserving mentality. This type of budget is not a practice of effective church finance, and it is the least desirable of the three types of budgets churches use. The second type of budget is referred to as an organizational budget. An organizational budget organizes according to the committee or organization and reflects the organizational structure, involves very few people putting it together, and focuses on the institutional welfare of the local church. This type of budget is not a practice of effective church finance, and while better than the cost budget, is still not desirable for churches and yet most churches use an organi organizational style of budget. The most effective is the third type of budget and yet it is the type of budget that very few churches implement into their ministry. It is called a ministry action budget. A ministry action budget is a process that identifies, evaluates, and funds ministries for reaching objectives of the church, aligning the objectives with the financial resources of the church. A ministry action budget looks at every function as a ministry, and it shows the major priorities of the congregation for the year in question. This is the model for all effective church ministry, and it equates each ministry directly back to Scripture or to the Bible. The mission action budget is built on the major priorities of the congregation and includes all long-range planning. The mission action budget also takes seriously the 80-20 principle, usually referred to as the Pareto principle. 20% of the things a church does delivers 80% of the results of the ministry. 80% of the things a church does delivers only 20% of its results in ministry. The mission action budget is a people budget. Remember that people give money to people. This type of budget stays focused on the people who will be helped through the congregation's major priorities. A mission action budget is built on prayer, on wisdom, on discernment, on vision, and on common sense. If you want to pastor a thriving, growing, effective congregation, you must lead the church to practice mission action budgeting. If your church does not have a ministry action budget, Use your best creativity and wisdom and adapt your present budget to a mission action budget.